This clip will illustrate loaning items to an individual borrower as well as loaning items to a group. I'll start with an individual borrower. We have a borrower on the screen and I see all the current items that the borrower has out. At the very bottom of the screen I can choose renew and choose a standard renewal period or select a specific date. On the right side I can put check marks down next to various items, return, mark them lost, damaged, claim returned, claim never borrowed. I also have the option to email the borrower a transaction list. If I had a slip printer I could print a small slip out of the transactions and I can use this printer option up here to print all the transaction lists that we're seeing. I can also set a session due date for a specific day that might be out of the ordinary circulation loan period for a class or the entire day. I'll loan an item out. The item's been checked out. The loan was completed. Here's the new loan showing the book covers, the author, the call number, the barcode price if there was one, the loan date, if the users renewed these, the renewal date if they were renewed, and the due date. Here I have a group up of Homeroom 200. I'm going to loan my first student an item. The item has been checked out. If I choose another student, you'll see that this student who is just at the desk has a green check mark and a green background, telling me that that student has borrowed this particular visit to the library. It's nice to know this in case a student is shy and has not borrowed books in the last few visits. This will help you identify that. And again, I have the list and I can do all the same options, renew, claim, never borrowed, return, damaged, and lost. I hope this CERC video has been helpful.